G'day, welcome to my channel. I'm Creative Flair and this is the series where we take a little stroll down Ramsey Street and get to know Australia's most iconic neighbourhood in the fictional town of Erinsborough. On this tour, we're going right back to the mid 80s and Neighbours' humble beginnings. So far we've visited number 22, number 24, number 26 and number 28 Ramsey Street. Now let's close the door on Carl and Susan Kennedy and move next door to number 30, best known as the House of Trouser. Let's knock on the door, shall we? Number 30, first occupied by Carol Brown and her family at the beginning of the series, followed briefly by the Sutton family. Later in 1985, Jim Robinson rented number 30 for his son Paul and his new wife Terry. After Terry shot Paul and was sent to prison, Paul then moved back to his family home. The Simpson family then bought the house. In 1988, Edith Chubb bought number 30 and moved in with her nieces Bronwyn and Sharon. When Edith moved to the country to nurse a sick relative, Hilary Robinson moved in to look after Sharon and was later joined by her son, Matt. Dorothy Burke purchased the house in 1990 when Hilary moved away and her niece and nephew Tiffany and Ryan later moved in. After they left, Dorothy took in Toby Mangle when his father Joe remarried and moved away. Later Phoebe Bright moved in after her father suffered a heart attack. Phoebe gave birth to a daughter Hope and married Stephen Godalieve. Dorothy rented the house to Phoebe and Stephen after she moved away with Toby and her new fiancé. The Godalieves decided to take in lodgers and their first was Russell Butler who kidnapped Hope refused to pay his rent and later fled Ramsey Street. The next lodgers were Beth Brennan and Stephen's brother Mark. Phoebe and Stephen left Erinsborough and Mark took in Annalise Hartman and Rick Alessi. From then on, the house was seen to be more of a share house, always taking in the rejects from the rest of the street. Mark's sister Serendipity moved in following Annalise's departure. Luke and Jen Handley moved in and Rick moved out. Luke and Serendipity moved to Japan not long after Cody Willis moved in. Sarah Bowman moved in with her sister Catherine O'Brien, who later left for England with Malcolm Kennedy. Teacher Lisa Elliott moved in for a while as well as Ben Atkins and his sister Caitlin. Ben and Caitlin moved out in 1998 and Sarah's new housemates were Joel Samuels and Toadfish Rebecca. After Sarah left in 1999, Lou Carpenter bought number 30 at auction. Lance Wilkinson and Amy Greenwood fought over Sarah's place in the house. With Lance winning, Lance later moved out and his place was taken by Dee Bliss. After Joel left, Stuart Parker moved in and Dee went missing, presumed dead after her wedding with Tony. Connor O'Neill then moved into the house and number 30 became known as the House of Trouser. When Lou decided to sell in 2004, the boys bought number 30. Stuart's girlfriend, Cindy Watts, moved in along with Stuart's brother, Ned. Stuart and Cindy left and Connor disappeared in mysterious circumstances a few months later. When Toadie briefly left for Sydney, he asked Ned to find some new tenants. Ned selected Fraser Yates, Pepper Steiger and Will Griggs, unaware that Toadie had promised his room to Rosetta, known as Rosie, Caminetti. After a vote was taken between the housemates to decide who stays, Ned was voted out. Will left and Fraser's younger brother Ringo Brown moved in, along with Rosie's sister, Camilla Caminetti. Pepper left at the end of 2007 and Daniel Fitzgerald moved in. When Fraser and Rosie left for Italy, Ringo moved out. Samantha Fitzgerald stayed in the house briefly in April of 2008. Later in 2008, Toadie took in Callum Jones as his guardian after his great-grandmother became ill. Libby Kennedy moved in with her son Ben and she later married Daniel. Lou also moved in after Lynn Scully threw him out of number 26. 
He later moved into number 24 with the Ramsey children. After their marriage fell apart, Daniel left town and Libby and Ben moved out. Stephanie Scully and her son, Charlie, moved in with Toady and Callum, while they pretended to be a couple. After the secret was exposed, Steph moved out again. Sonia Mitchell agreed to move in with Toady and Callum, and when her sister Jade arrived, Toady invited her to stay too. Later, he asked them to leave when he discovered Sonia was Callum's mother. After Toady and Sonia made up, Sonia moved back in. Following Susan Kennedy's separation from her husband, Carl, Toady invited her to move in. In early 2012, number 30 underwent a makeover when Sonia pushed Toady to redecorate and they changed the colour scheme from drab plaid and brown to a brighter, more retro look. Towards the end of the year, Toadie's cousin, Georgia Brooks, moved in. At the beginning of 2013, Toadie and Sonia's daughter, Nell, known as Jellyfish, was born. Sonia invited Steph to move in again, following her reintroduction to the series. In June 2016, Sonia's father, Walter, briefly stayed so she could support him while he tried to overcome his alcohol problems. In 2018, Hugo Summers, Toadie's baby son with Andrea Summers came to live in number 30. Between October and December 2018, the Rebecca's nanny, Alice Wells, lived in the house until her true identity as Andrea's mother and Hugo's grandmother was revealed. When Sonia died after a short fight with cancer, Toadie invited his brother, Shane, his wife, Dippy, and daughters Yashvi and Kersha to move in to number 30 along with their dog, Clancy. Mackenzie Hargraves was later invited to stay too. After Kersha, Clancy, Shane and Dippy left, a recently returned Amy Greenwood temporarily moved in with Toadie, Mackenzie and Yashvi for a few months. Yashvi departed for Sydney to live with her family while Amy moved back in with her daughter Zara Selwyn. Melanie Pearson decided to move in with Toady when they declared that their relationship was progressing. Once Toady and Melanie got married, they put their house up for sale as part of one of the series' final storylines. Amy and Zara moved out, and after some convincing from other neighbours, Toady and Melanie decided to stay at number 30. And that concludes this episode of my Neighbours series spanning nearly 40 years of drama. If you like this video and want to see more of this type of content on my channel, please do the like and subscribe thing and hit the notification bell for future videos. Also, you can pop a comment down below let me know your favourite characters and storylines you wish for me to dive into. Until then, take care. I'm Creative Flair. Mm -hmm.